Hello guys, it's Miss Sim back with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how we're going to make this little frame with our little fishy guys, our little koi fish. Hold on tight because it's going to be a long one. First thing that we're going to want to start off with is in your art kit, we had some popsicle sticks. If you don't have popsicle sticks available, you can pretty much use any kind of paper to also make a frame. But where we're going to be is about six popsicle sticks, your watercolors, a little cup of water, glue, a pencil, of course. So as we get started, the biggest thing that we're going to be needing is the popsicle sticks to make our small frame. And this is me just measuring off a square shape. So I like to put two down first and then two on top of that. And you'll see that. All right, so this next part is pretty much just us gluing it together. I use two different glues, of course. If you have stick glue, I found that the stick glue dries faster and it's also just a little bit better, but I use both just to test it out. Just one or the other is fine though. And this next part after we have our square shape is to then place two more on top, just as I'm doing to make this little frame shape. Just put some little extra glue. Make sure that we're gluing everything down. And then as soon as you're done with this shape, you have to put it off to the side so it can dry. And by the time we're done with our little painting pieces, it should be all the way dry. So this is just me just doing one side with regular glue and one side with a stick glue. Of course, you can just use a stick glue or you can just use regular glue, but I kind of wanted to test it out. So that was the shape that I had. It fell off, but it's okay, I'm gonna restick it. So this is just me resticking this. And then the next thing I'll do is take a piece of paper. And what I'm going to do is measure out the shape that I need. Just like a very general shape. And I'll end up fixing this later on too. But right now we just kind of need a general shape of what we want. Next part is to draw our koi fish. We start off with a line that kind of looks like an S, like a really, really loose S. And so that way we're able to build our koi fish around it. And I'll show you guys two different times on how to do this. So this is basically like how I do it. So nothing too fancy. Of course, I believe I might not have that video up anymore, but it's very easy to draw this little koi fish. It's very much just... Um, circly shapes. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine doesn't end up being perfect. I draw my fins kind of wiggly. Of course, slurred down as you need it. And this is how I just draw my little koi fish. That middle line, I don't erase it at all. That becomes its little fin. And the tail, you can always have your smaller as well. Mine was pretty large, so I wasn't able to fit the tail like all the way in the frame. So I kind of just Drew it as if it was being cut off by the frame and with the eyes. I kind of just do like little circly, overly eyes with little nose. So that's me doing my first koi fish. This is me just doing my other one. Once again, a S shape. This is like little rainbow shape for the head. And I follow that line. One line, two lines, squiggly lines for the arms. Draw my little fin. Do a lot of squiggles. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, like the more like kind of rough it looks, the better it turns out. So don't be afraid to try something new. So this is my shape that I have again. This was on a different piece of paper. So if you wanted to draw two, of course, repeat the same thing of just having the like little square measured out by our frame. Next is just painting. So this was just me taking my water and the colors that I thought I would need. I'll probably put some examples of koi fish on here real quick. So you guys can see what kind of like how koi fish look. I use oranges and reds to kind of have, have them look like little, little fish cows. They're super cute. And I just basically put like little dots on them. And that's just me dusting out my color. 
So just draw like little, like as if they were like little cowfish, but with like oranges and blacks or anything like that. So here for this next few parts, I'll kind of just let you guys watch me paint. It's nothing too exciting. I honestly believe that you guys can do this without a lot of instruction. A lot of just visual work will help you guys with it. I hope you guys have a lot of fun doing this. And I know that you guys will send me your beautiful koi fish. And I know that they'll end up being absolutely marvelous. So I can't wait to see yours. All right, this is my two done. So I'm taking the one I first did. Of course, you only have to do one. I just did two just to show you guys. I'm just cutting along the line that we made. So about this part. So this part might not actually, well, these little squares might not actually fit perfectly into your frame. So I do take another piece of paper. It does not matter what color. You could probably even use scraps if you wanted to. And I pretty much just glue it on top of that shape or the shape that we're about to make so that we can pull it in and out of our frame. So this is pretty much just me showing you how it kind of doesn't fit in the frame and I'm going to show us how we're going to fix that. This was my mistake. You guys could probably fix your mistake from the start, but that's okay. It's all about learning in art and trying our hardest and doing our best that we can do. So this is just me kind of drawing the same shape just a little bit longer as you can see. Oh, I'm just going to draw a longer rectangle. And now all we're going to do is cut this out and glue our pieces to it. And then we should be able to take in and out our little paintings as we want. So here we go. This is me putting it in there. It might need a little trim and that's okay. Now we should be able to move our paper freely in and out. And of course you could make multiple and you can pretty much use this frame as any frame to decorate any art that you make so you can once again make a whole bunch of like little tiny squares and change out the paper so you can do that you can make a whole bunch if you have more popsicle sticks at home there's a whole bunch of fun stuff that you can really do so this is mine i hope you guys really enjoyed it i hope you guys send me what you guys do and i hope you guys had fun of course you can also use the pipe cleaner that we have i didn't have a pipe cleaner on me I kind of lost it but you can also any string available to you trim up your edges make this as perfect as you want give it as gifts I think this is a wonderful thing to receive as a gift especially to your parents I know that they will love them or just something for you to do for yourself so that's all I really have hope you guys had a wonderful time doing this thank you so much and hope you do send it I will make sure that my email is available to you so you can send it to me thank you much so much guys I appreciate it so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.